Hello everyone! Before we begin, we wanted to let you know that we have another video on highly sensitive people called 8 Signs You're a Highly Sensitive Person. Check out that video first, where we explain what a highly sensitive person is, and then come back to this video, where we break it down further. Do you daydream constantly? Does the thought of sitting still make you angry? Can you taste flavors that others just don't pick up on? You might just be a highly sensitive person. HSPs have senses that are very accurate and react strongly to their environment. But not all HSPs are the same, and characteristics can vary from person to person. Here are six types of HSPs. 1. Psychomotor For these highly sensitive people, standing still is as difficult as climbing a mountain, which they would probably rather do anyway. Psychomotor HSPs experience a surplus of energy. They love doing intense physical activities, such as sports or seeking extreme thrill rides. Psychomotor HSPs also compulsively talk it up, usually very fast, and are very personal and can get quite touchy-feely. Some downsides may include being too competitive and prone to nervous habits, such as biting fingernails and also being workaholics. 2. Sensual For these HSPs, life is lived in a kaleidoscopic sensory wonderland. All five senses are enhanced and highly accurate. Music becomes more soulful, pancakes are more flavorful, and art can be a downright spiritual experience. As children, sensual HSPs can be very picky eaters and predisposed to overstimulation very quickly. It's important for them to have lots of downtime to unwind from noisy crowds or flashing lights. By contrast, there is a danger of overindulging in food and sex. 3. Intellectual An intellectual type HSP is characterized by a penchant for asking questions and reflecting over their concentrated thoughts. These HSPs have a tenacity for problem solving, can recall information in vivid detail, and observe others with the keen sense of a hawk. The search for truth is of utmost concern to them in a world that doesn't seem to make sense. If there is a weakness associated with this type is that they are too preoccupied with logic and can be extremely critical of others. They are also extremely critical of themselves. 4. Imaginational These are the people who have notebooks filled with scribbles of characters and writings. The inner machinations of their mind are often dramatic and poetic depictions of what they perceive in real life, all to reconcile the sad truth that reality is just not as good as fantasy. Their intense emotions often spill over into vivid dreams. It can be hard for these HSPs to distinguish between what is real and what is fake. These HSPs have an extremely low tolerance for anything boring. 5. The Orchid Child According to Professor Bruce Ellis, most children survive and even thrive in whatever circumstances they encounter, like dandelions. Orchid children are biologically sensitive to context, which means they are more sensitive than their dandelion counterparts. If nurtured in the right environment, according to Ellis, orchid children can blossom into society's happiest, most productive people. But given the wrong circumstances, they can be susceptible to depression and substance abuse. 6. Emotional All highly sensitive people have powerful connections to their emotions, but for these HSPs, their emotions become so intense they manifest in the physical. This type can be best described as empathetic, or able to feel and be affected by the emotions of others. The bonds that these HSPs create with other people are stronger and more honest than usual. Their emotions often come out in physical ways, such as sweaty palms, tense or sensitive stomach, palpitating heartbeats, and face blushing. This group is subject to a host of difficulties, including intense mood swings that reach from ecstasy to suicidal depression. There is a difficulty adjusting to new environments and strong social repulsion. There are many more types of HSPs to be discussed, and it is normal for HSPs to have overlap between types. The main characteristic of all HSPs is that it takes less stimuli to create a reaction within a person. Can you relate to some traits in the examples given? Let us know in the comments below! Be sure to check out our other videos on highly sensitive people. If you thought this video was interesting, give us a like and subscribe for more psychology content. Thanks for watching!